I'm Michael Steele, I'm with ELR Precision, and welcome to Buy Once, Cry Once. This, uh, this video is kind of for fun, um, because I've seen quite a few guys at the, uh, at the range, especially some of the new guys at the range, bring a scope that's that, that resembles the one I'm about to show you quite a bit. This is a <coughs> Simmons hunting scope. It's a three to nine by 40. It's a, as it says right here, fully coated scope with the uh, fully coated lenses. And it's not a bad scope. It's actually quite, quite got quite decent glass. <clears throat> the problem with this is that one, you have not really exposed, you don't, you don't have turrets as such. You have these old fashioned screws. And these are fine for when you're zeroing your, your, your rifle at the, at the shooting range for a hunting season. Then they're fine. For long range, then, actually the, the clicks in this are quite good. And they, it also has quite a bunch of clicks. And it's working with the clicks well. It's adjusting as it should. So in principle, this can be used. I mean, I'm not saying this is an impossible to use, um, but you do have a very natural stop in how you can use it. As you see, when you zoom in to nine power, and nine power is not a lot for, for shooting long range anyway, then the image gets all fuzzy. And that's because you don't have a parallax adjustment. And that's fine if you're happy with a three power or even maybe a, it could, it could do six power. Um, but that's where kind of where you can, you can't really use it for much, for much more. It actually clicks rather well. And it's got a bunch of clicks in there. So that's not too shabby, um, but what I see a lot of guys doing when they're new to long range shooting, and this is, it doesn't necessarily need to be ELR um, or extreme or extended long range, just regular long range shooting. Um, people get flustered and frustrated with their scopes because they're not meant to do what you're asking them to do. And that, of course, is not the scope's fault. Um, you got to bring a scope to a range like this. This is a 3,700 meter range, and you got to bring a scope to a range like this that's meant to do so. That's why we have the bigger, more expensive scopes that, well, can they, they have five to twenty-four five power or um, or. 6 to 36 power and it's got parallax adjustment it's got external turrets and stuff um for for long range your hunting scope is not going to cut it this is a great hunting scope um if you want to shoot the rabbit that's jumping around out of the range right now it's great to do that it's great for doing that you can take a, a buck easily at 100 yards with this scope and i would trust it to do so but at more than 100 yards, then it kind of doesn't make sense anymore. It's actually got really nice glass, and it's actually also um, quite decent in the way it performs um, at shorter distances. But at long, longer ranges, it, it just doesn't cut it. So uh, do yourself a favor before you come to a long range range and that right there is the, the middle of the frame is a whoa that's a thousand meter 1500 2k and the furthest out there is two and a half kilometers um, before you come to a range like this 
and and shoot long range get yourself geared up with it doesn't need to be a super high-end super scope but do yourself a favor and get something in well look at the uh, the playlist that's called reasonably reasonably priced scopes and get yourself something along those lines if it's the first time if um if, if I were to uh, you to do anything, I would say buy once, cry once. Um, if you do buy a scope in the reasonably, reasonably priced section, at some point when you get into this kind of shooting, at some point you're going to want to change up and buy something else, buy, buy something better. You're going to probably exchange up for some of the scopes in the Super Scope series. Um, and if you do that, you're gonna lose money on the first one because the, the first scope you buy is never gonna be worth as much as the as it was when you bought it. So it's gonna be an expense no matter how you look at it. So go ahead and get you get a, a scope that's worth or that can do what you want it to do at distance and it has the glass to do so to start out with. Um, as I said, cry once, buy once, or buy once, cry once. So that's just a little, a little good thinking. So uh, stay tuned and stay safe.